right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. And right now, well, yesterday, the update 6.10 dropped, buffing all the heavies HP from tier 6 to tier 9. So, um, I'm making a video here about that buff, basically. How the heavy meta across, like, almost the whole game has changed. So, this tank in particular, the VK100.01P, previously um, had 1470 HP and now has 1900. Now that is a massive buff. That's another 430 HP. And if you run it with um, extra HP, it is 2014, which is the same HP as the E50M. So... It's a lot of HP for a tier 8 heavy previously, now, I mean a lot, but almost average, actually, it's a lot. Um, that name there, her royal fatness, instead of his royal fatness, that's kind of funny. <laughs> so, just kind of going to be talking about how I think this changes the game, and this tank in particular in tier 8, because this is, the, in my opinion, the best armor tank in tier 8. You have insane front, side, rear, everywhere, top, bottom armor. Like, all your armor is insane. You have pretty good penetration. Um, your accuracy is okay. You have a nice 460 alpha, but you do have low DPM. Because if you had high DPM, this thing, which is already, in my opinion, OP, would be absolutely broken. So, in the last two days, because I am grinding this tank right now, I have gotten... Either three or four masteries, which is pretty good for me. I don't get that many masteries because I am dub. So I think it's a great tank. Obviously, other people aren't playing it that well somehow. But in any case, maybe they are. I don't know. I think it might have been because of Uprising. Nobody was playing for a week. And then, so nobody was getting high XP games in it. Because only noobs don't play up Uprising. And noobs don't do good. So, you know. <laughs> but there are other tanks. Like, just as you look across the battlefield. Like, stuff like the Object 252U now has a lot. Like, a lot of HP. So does this. The Maushkin now has 100 more HP than the Maus did before its buff. The Maushkin got a 6... 100 HP buff. That's a lot of HP. It's a lot of extra damage out there. Oh, that was just unlucky right there. I should have switched to APR. I was just like, okay. Don't really, you know. <laughs> but it really does allow you to just hold your ground, especially in a well-armored tank like the VK100.01P. You really bounce a lot of shells and even when you don't bounce them, you have a very large tier 8 hit point pull. So, you, I've been going in 1v3, 1v4, so right way in front of my team. And I have been winning them. Because I'm, it's basically an unstoppable tank if you're another tier 8. Or even, or definitely if you're tier 7, mediums, all those things, even tier 9s. I mean, you just, you murder them. You absolutely murder them. And it's ridiculous. So, that is um, basically the VK's advantage. And I do have one more battle in the VK. I will talk just a little bit more about this. And that was a nice mastery right there. 3,159 damage, 1 kill, and 23,000 credits. And now, jump into the second replay in the VK 100.01p. We are on Fort Despair, and this is a pretty fun game. And as you can see, stuff like that, AMX in front of you, I mean in front of me, sorry, is now 2,226 HP. I think previously it either had 1,800 or 1,900. So also, just as you see, there's about 400 uh, tier 8 and 9s, about a 400 HP buff on anywhere from like a 3 to 400 HP buff. It's very good. Some of them are like 200. But it is almost 1,000 extra HP in the game. Nice shot right there on that AMX 1 ER, 30, 1 ER. And as you can see, it's just us two out here and we are surrounded 
basically there are some tanks behind us, but um, as you can see, I expected this to be a loss, so I just went like that. Boom! And I that 254. Just get wrecked. But our AMX does get absolutely wrecked. Their AMX gets wrecked also. So, I didn't think that they were going down too. And I'm going to pick out a nice shot into the bottom plate of that K91, which has very weak bottom and side armor. So, really, you can't pin the front, which, like, it just pull down enough where it can't do the very bottom plate. Go for the tracks on the side, because it's very weak. And so, as you can see now, if we did not have the HP buff, we would be down below 1,000 HP right now, but we're not. We're gonna get a nice juicy AP shot into that in six. Uh, A2, E8, I think, I don't know, <laughs> I can't remember everything. A lot of things, I can't remember the exact name of every single one. But I realized after that ammo rack that it was a win. Only when I shot my K91 but our alphas are tired and get immediately taken out by our team. Now the enemies just have one tank left, a 1300 HP left on that IC defender, now 1000. He's coming around. I'm really hoping to get above that 4k mark. And what the heck, I bounce. Like, and I'm like, no, because I know I'm not going to really get anything more. I do get a ram in though, which is 126. But he's just too low HP. But get the kill on him. So that was another mastery and around 4,000 damage. We got an ammo rack, 45,000 credits, and two kills. So guys, that is the heavy's change. The heavy meta has changed throughout tier 6 through tier 10 over the last two updates. Very good move on Wargaming's part. And uh, I hope to see more things like this. Honestly, I want HP in um tds well you know i want light takes a hp buffed because they're juicy and they get wrecked a lot so i think they should get hp buffs so hopefully wargaming will do something like that i don't know if they will but anyway i'll see you guys next time and bye for now